directly from the headquarters of uh, the master key uh, the trading system uh, we wish you a very uh, happy uh, trading day another beautiful days okay a bit of uh, a kind of uh, a, 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 a bright weather in london not very dark not very cloudy right now okay so we can smile okay now right now i will want to show you something i will show you one of the video that we titled level two trading eyes wide open okay and now i want to do a continuation of that video as you can see on this uh, chart here i draw uh, a yellow line here uh, anytime you see on my chart a yellow line is a warning line for myself okay what was happening uh, I, I was saying to you that uh, even though we do not have a level two trading uh, uh, things on this uh, uh, chart here okay we observe watching the price itself keeping our eyes wide open not blinking at all we noticed that there was some order being placed here at this level at 13350 uh, for the euro usd uh, during the asia session uh, I was up early today during the early time of London okay in the morning and I noticed here this bam 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 you see the price came and touching this level here many 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 times here this zone here where I highlight here and uh, they extend it uh, up to six uh, o'clock London time okay which is uh, 1 a.m. Eastern time and they would see they were they start doing this uh, uh, for nearly three hours uh, and there was uh, a person who placed order here i believe usually these are the bank these are the market movers okay why these people were doing that they were doing that because the stochastic on the daily chart on the i mean uh, intraday daily chart of the euro usd is overbought so these people start placing orders here to sell and we understand clearly what's going on because uh, when you are trading you need to uh, spy on other traders not uh, in the negative sense of the word spy okay by going into their mind in to understand exactly what these people are trying to do so we notice that uh, there is some uh, uh, market movers who get it completely wrong here okay they got it completely wrong and they were selling big time here and uh, holding the price because if you look at this candle look at this one it's a tall candle here bullish 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 these are smart money these are market specialists. they know that we should buy 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 you see you see this candle here you see buy this one also say buy this one also say buy okay and suddenly we came here and we are stuck okay we are stuck okay and then somebody blocked the price and then since uh, around six o'clock uh, london time uh, seven o'clock as usual they trade in the opposite direction as you can see this uh, uh, 7 a.m london time uh, well, six from 6 a.m they started already they bring the price down when they're not supposed to do only to be turned around where i put this spotlight here and they kick it back up you see buy 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 okay and then they break it finally okay the market specialists those who understand the market get a bit angry with this candle you see this candle how bullish this they get very furious with the person who was in this session uh, placing this order to sell and holding the price so people just say to him get off our way we want to go up okay and as you can see uh, the person was quite aggressive he came back again in this zone here when i'm moving my cursor and move the price back down okay you see he kick it back down when 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 the, the, the smart man he say get off get off no he couldn't understand okay he came he moved his uh, stop loss a bit up and came and pushed the pack back back down below the yellow line okay and this is what's happened okay and uh and the, and, the, and the smart man he said okay thank you very much and he reloaded it again reloaded it again and uh, finally he tried to 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 push it back down here as you can see with this uh, small red cat where i'm moving my cursor here but it was unsuccessful and the price gap up gap up just just run off okay the price you see bye 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 this is not buy anymore this is bye bye okay and the price is finally free from the uh, i mean uh, uh, the power of this uh, uh, strong uh, powerful uh, trader this is not uh, a retail trader this person uh, placing order here at 13350 this is a uh, market movers they get it completely wrong i think uh, what they should do is to use the tsc w24 uh, to avoid wasting their client money in this uh, uh, kind of uh, environment and as you can see here there was a desperate uh, uh, fight to survive in this zone and they bring it back down here because the stochastic on the daily chart is overbought now if you want to swing trade like uh, with precision you need to have what we call the timing 
the timing should be incorporated in your trading system if you do not know every time frame is twinned to another time frame every higher time frame is twinned to one particular a lower time frame and they work in harmony when somebody asks you wh what sort of trading system do you use and you say oh i use the uh, the exponential moving average uh, 50 or i use the exponential moving average 200 or i use the rsi 14 or i use the cci 10 or whatever you use okay now the second question that people don't ask is that which, on which time frame do you use that uh, particular indicator on? Now, people will go and they will say, Oh, this person is a very smart trader and he uses CCI 10 on, uh, all the time. So I'm going to use CCI 10. But the CCI 10 must be tested on one particular time frame. The performance must be excellent on one particular time frame. That's why people go on the internet, they see all sorts of trading systems and they use it, but they don't know on which time frame the performance of that particular training system is solid so they go around and they don't get results they say oh this thing is not working okay because they don't know how this because this is where the timing counts so important in trading the timing the time to buy the time to sell and the time to step aside this will make you a different trader if you get the timing right okay plus what we call the risk management my risk man management i told you already the five percent of my trading account is what i will expose to a risk at any point in time that's it so i'm quite happy with that i always 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 use a guaranteed stop loss so nobody's going to tell me that uh, i don't know what's going to happen always i know what's going to happen because in case the trade turn against me i know exactly what's going to happen is not going to take more than five percent of my account is is um, it's impossible to wipe out my account because if they can wipe only five percent of my account okay and my guarantee stop loss is right there okay so and i use tools that way so <laughs> i mean this is how you have to control uh, the risk very important okay and also you're going to enter a trade ask yourself is it wealthy entering this trade now what's the uh, risk reward ratio okay so you want to risk 30 pound or 30 dollar or you want to risk a 50 dollar you want to reach risk a hundred dollar be prepared at least to take at least a hundred dollar also so one to one okay one to one risk ratio risk reward ratio at least at least at least so you don't you don't risk a hundred pound or a hundred dollar for 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 ten dollar it's crazy it's crazy your broker will love you. I mean, the broker will love you by all means. But uh, the broker also wants you to survive so you can open your account. Because if you shut your account, you're also gone. Okay? So <laughs> we depend on each other. That's why I don't criticize brokers and all the rest of it, you know? So the broker wants you also to survive. You want to take a bit of your money also. You also want to take a bit of his money. So <laughs> it's 50 50, by the way. So to so have your, your standard, okay, the risk management, 5%, is, I mean, it's up to you what you want to use, uh, what suits your style, okay, I mean, uh, we cannot have <laughs> everybody trading like myself, okay, have your style and uh, do it, and, but guarantee stop loss, stop loss at least, okay, consider the, 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 the risk reward ratio always. Some some of the, the trade setup they are useless. That's what I'm saying. So you give yourself the best setup, okay? So you look at it, you know, oh oh, this one, okay. If I show you on the four hour chart here, okay, I will show you quickly on the Euro uh, USD four hour chart. I have a target on that uh, four hour chart uh, in the region of uh, one three six zero zero. Okay, I have a trade run right now. Okay, so I'm managing this. That trade is uh, quite. Uh, uh, profitable right now but uh, i set uh, my limit order to take a profit in a region of uh, uh, this region here at 136 uh, uh, this level here so i have my limit order there that trade is already profitable so whenever you enter a trade also you want to know where you want to take a bit of profit very important so you consider the risk reward ratio the risk reward ratio okay you use, if you want to, the 5% rule of your trading account, the guarantee stop loss, okay? And the next thing, the exit strategy. Where are you coming out? When are you coming out? Or what will make you decide to come out, okay? So when the price is moving up, you pay attention to the resistance level. When the price is going down, you pay attention to the support level, and so on and so on. 
So there is right now a target for myself, okay, very ambitious, greedy target, okay. Uh, I put it there for you, my, my uh, greedy, I will show you, uh, my greedy target is somewhere uh, uh, here, this is what I call the lion share, uh, one, three, six, zero, zero. Now, if the price start turning around, I don't just stay there, okay? And I, I will reevaluate my trade. That's what we call managing the trade. Now the trade is profitable, okay? It does not mean that the price by all means, like I say, it's going to be at one three six zero zero by all means. No, I will manage my trade, okay? I will decide whether this trade should continue or not. I will decide whether I should extend my uh, my. Uh, uh, profit target, whether I should reduce my tr uh, 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 trade, uh, my uh, profit target, okay, whether I should close the trade or whether I should uh, uh, reload it again uh, into another position, okay. So, this is about how you are managing the trade, okay. Now, going back to the five minutes of what I was showing you today uh, about uh, somebody placing order at the one particular point here. That's it. We, it was broken right there. And uh, the price now is free in this zone here because we notice clearly. So, you want to enter also a trade. You see this kind of activity going on here. Now, you don't want to, you don't want to buy in this zone, okay? You don't want to buy here. You want to buy above it, okay? As you can see here, the price break it. Most of the unaware traders will jump in quickly and buy. But the, the pullback is so important. You see the price pullback, pullback, pullback. But the person who was uh, blocking everybody here, okay, decided to, 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 to kick people out. And he take people's position out, you see. He take people's position out by pushing the price down big time here, okay. You see, he push it down big time here. But if you wait for the price to set for you nicely, you won't get into this kind of... Uh, uh, insult this person they were insulting they are now well traders with this candle here Phew, down okay so this is about uh, keeping your eyes wide open uh, having a proper risk management plan considering the, the risk reward ratio setting your target managing the trend okay adopting what we call uh, the mindset of the professional trader i hope you enjoyed this video about uh, uh, detecting clearly all the activity going on in this market in order to take advantage of that and uh, to cream the market consistently and enjoy yourself and uh, be uh, very happy thank you